Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Trilogy where in the last video we were trying to find the murder of the Jamming Ninja and we basically was going around asking some questions and we see some of the same people who was in a previous mission that we saw before like the uh, Ninja Samurai but because it's a different person it means a different case it may have a new killer on the loose so with that being said grab a snacks, grab a drink, Detective Reaper is here to save the day Alright, we back here, so let's see where do we go. I think we should have everything. Move away from her, we'll go to... Um, let's go to the hallway. We'll go to... Yeah, hallway. Alright, let's talk to you now. Oh, you gotta be a school, that's right. Present something to you. Let's solve this puzzle. Alright, you got two locks. Alright. Let's go. Let's go. Lock, will you please ask my question? On the night of the murder, why were you loaded around the victim's room? I told you, that night for my school. Well, I want to know about the details of this school. That's not something I can tell you. I mean, that that's my bread and butter. Alright then, and I'm plus a tabloid for her we're looking for a school. I'm, I'm going to say that you were looking into a scandal. Grr. Could it be that you, Lot of Heart, were looking for a break with a huge story? Perhaps an unfolded scandal between Juan Coretta and this person. Let's see. Profile here. And we go to here. And we're gonna say, did you have this, this woman? She's Adrian Andrews, Batten Guardian Manager. Huh. The Nickel Samurai Manager caught secretly meeting with his rival, the Jammin Ninja. It would be the hottest story of the season, wouldn't it? Got one. You're pretty good at this guessing thing, Mr. Lawyer. But y'all can't just make up any old thing and think you'll make the papers. Y'all gotta have backup. Backup? Yeah, yeah, y'all gotta have that. That's what is new sauce. Uh, you mean new source. That's it. So, show me something that show that one guy has something with Miss Andrew. Alright, you wanna play this game? Uh, let's see. Damn, it's three boys, I missed this. Wait a minute. No, go back. It has to be this juicy gossip stuff. Take that! Got him. This is the article from a certain weekly tabloid. Jamming Midnight Rendezvous to the mysterious yet beautiful manager to the stars, Miss A.A. A. Ah! Mr. Coretta didn't have a manager of his own. What's more, his rival, Mr. Uncle, our manager, Adrian Andrews. She had the initials A.A. A. He saw this article and then thought to take some picture of them as proof. That's why you was walking around this corridor last night. Wow! Got him. Gotcha, Lada. Lada. Gotcha. Now, start talking. You were looking into Mr. Corridor and Miss Andrew's affair, weren't you? Yeah, you got it. I was going to get myself a school by catching him in a secret meeting. But there's already an article about it on one of the weakest tabloid magazines. It's no longer breaking news. What you say? Her and Nick shoes are AA. Hey, hey, what kind of bad thing is that? That ain't no proof of nothing. People are going to want to see real proof. Well, at least I do. So that's what I'm going to do. Getting photos. Oh? I'm going to whoop up a Reaver's interest with some guys so they let me sleep. Then spice it up with a little and have myself exclusive story. Wow, a lot of nice journal. It's the integrity you got there. I'm already finished up writing up my spicy argue, you know. But the papers I wrote it on. My note to herself is gone. Your note to yourself? It was inside a case of my sixteen hundred dollar camera. They done run all together. I gave it for my big star didn't come here to have my trash disappeared on me. Yeah, I understand. That's nothing bigger girl go home, cause I tell you, what with people now nowadays? 
I never thought I'd see the day with someone gonna steal something from me. You really want that note back, huh? I got no idea why the story on that note is probably a bold face lie. Story of a night in the Oracle Tapboard of a video of space. Alright, let's see. Where do we go from here? Did we talk to you already? Yeah, I think we talked to you. So we're gonna move to Hallway Hotel Lobby. Yeah, Hotel Lobby. And I'm pretty sure we already talked to you already. Move to. March 21st, Police Station Criminal Affairs Department. Detective Gumption said they had a brief investigation brief. Yeah? Oh, he's back. Hey, so you can't, pal? Why the blood green? Oh, because there's nothing to be friendly or happy about. What do you mean by that? Well, things look perfectly this time around. The evidence and testimony are real torn. But, but we can't just roll over and die. We have to stay positive. So what do you mean by evidence is airtight? I can't give you all the detail, Bill, but there's two big pieces. Two? And both of them are in its full. Yeah, the button's missing and the... The first is the button that's missing from the victim's chest. Hmm, that's the button that you found during the bo your body circle unguarded. Yo, I'm finding the photo of Nicholas Sarai's special parent. And the second one is the knife in his chest, pal. The fingerprints on the knife in his chest to be inserted. Fingerprints? Um, those are theirs. You didn't even have the ask, little Missy. It's always they're Matt and guards. Tomorrow, trial. Talk about being stuck between a rock and a hard place. So, what about this airtight testimony? It's the old security lady, Miss Oldberg. I thought so. What do you mean? You thought so? Did she tell you something, pal? Um, uh, well... And I even told her not to open her mouth of hers and blab to anyone. A blab knocks the stuff on 10. There's no turning to down. Trust me. Yeah, well, this old man saw it all, pal. She saw Miss Uncle come out of Victor room around the S with terrible dirt. No, no way. Can we present something to you? Can we present something? Can we present her to you? There's something interesting about this woman, pal. And what is that? You don't know? Have you heard of Gus about her? Gus upon? Huh? I wonder if you know anything about that article. Pretty interested in this bit of golf on sale. The scandal of Miss with Mr. Corita, but why? Well, two years ago, a woman a committed suicide. Whoa. Suicide? Her name is Celeste Impact. And she was one of the manager. The fifth manager? But that's enough, pal. Miss Impact was AJ Andrews mentor. She taught Miss Andrew everything she knew about the business for Square One. Her mentor? A woman who was both Miss Corita Manager and Miss Andrew's mentor. Could her suicide have something to do with this case? Do you know what the more information about apparel? Of course I do. Of course I do. She, she was a fifth manager and also Miss Andrew and Andrew's mentor. It's been two years since the suicide, and now those two are late to get up by another death. Or maybe it's just a coincidence. Uh oh, how? Oh no, she's back. I'm getting sick of it. dealing with one foolish idiot after another. Miss Four Karma! You can't see the stuff out like yourself with the enemy, can't you? I don't need a traitor in my mess. You, you don't, you don't me! I do, Scuffy. You have 30 minutes to get out of here. You are no longer needed. Goodbye. That's 
that? Wait, please wait, sir. If I don't get this more pay, quiet. If I don't get work for the traders like you, I would want. Is that what you want to say? Who? That voice. Edgy! Edgy's back! It's been a long time, right? This person, this is Mr. Edgeworth? What I'm going to do with you? Still blaming others when things go wrong? You have a change a bit, Francisca. You! How dare you show your face to me without a shred of shame upon you? You stole the phone call my name, dragged it through the mud. You even ran away with your tails between your legs like an ill-breed dog you are. Aren't you talking about the long karma family tree to be perfect in every way? Then yeah, let's hear it, Francisca. How are things going? I heard you are having a rough time maintaining perfection in this country. You. You seem to be getting crushed under the weight of it all. That's why I came back. Keep your soldier to your keep your soldier to yourself. I I haven't given in yet. I won't lose. This case is mine. I never hand it over to you. Never. Mr. Finish right, I will see you tomorrow in court. It will be a clinical lesson of the meaning of total victory. Oh my god. Huh. Still the same wild mare she always was. Alright, let's see what she's about. Tomorrow's show. I thought you, the prosecutor Miles Edward, had gone and died. Mr. Nick? I I never want to see you again. I think that's enough of a warm welcome for someone you haven't seen in a year. Once you go to run tomorrow's trial, you heard her, right? That's why I haven't given in yet, it seems. So, no, I don't think I'll be making any new parents. Your hatred for me is quite unhealthy, not to mention one-sided. But I will say one thing. You can't win on your own at the trial tomorrow. What is that supposed to mean? I have something definitive that you lack. And working together is a definition of teamwork, of how to find the truth. The truth? In order to understand this case, you have to understand and search the truth. Well, if you ever need, feel the need of my assistant, it is available to you. I'm not in charge of this case, so I can be a bit more generous with information. Just what's going on inside his head. I don't care what's going on in his head. We got Edgy back, he's helping us. This is good news for me. A lot of things may have happened, however, Manfred Von Karma was still my mentor. And a perfect win record is proof of Von Karma. One year ago, you could not establish guilt in a few cases. Are those also the reason you suddenly disappeared from the prosecution office? Did you leave because you had lost your perfect win record? To think your motivation for a prosecutor's job was so selfish. It'd be better for everyone if you never came back from the dead, Edward. Damn, Phoenix, you didn't say it like that. I see, then let me ask you something. Why don't you stand in the courtroom? What is your reason? Well, with Francesca, she's always, always says, I will defeat you this time, the instant she sees me. But, the courtroom is not a personal battlefield for prosecutors at large. I stand in the courtroom to defend my clients. Save their lives. To save your client, you say? Those who think only of their own ego driven goals. Those kind of prosecutors are reprehensible to me. Even if you are a prodigy. Or someone like you, Edward. Damn, we taking shots like that? It looks like there's still a lot of you have yet to learn. A lot I have yet to learn? Me? Huh. <laughs> well, that's enough for now. The time we will see is coming soon enough. Alright, well, well, let me show you this then. Uh, I need to show you a picture of somebody. I need to show a picture of this young lady right here. What you know about her? Hmm, this woman is another key to solving this case. Do you really think so? She was Adrian Andrews' mentor a long time ago. But she was certainly called away by a different show and become Juan Corita's manager. And then, a few months later, Celeste Impest died. But her dad was ruled a suicide, right? Yes. But there is still one riddle we yet to solve. A riddle? Her suicide note. 
It went missing. No one can find it. As soon as I know, they just vanish, huh? Let's talk about the suicide note. This impact stamp was most certainly of suicide of that there is no mistake. However, we could not find her suicide note. That's when the police began to suspect that someone had hit me. The suicide note? But how did you know this impact had even written a suicide note? There was no solid evidence, however. We did find traces of ink on her right index finger, which makes the likelihood of a suicide note very high. But who would hide such a thing? The police think it was Mr. Walkerita himself. The victim? Oh, there she hung herself. He was the only one who found her body, which makes him the only person with a chance to hide her suicide note. Mr. Carita hid his own manager suicide note, but why? As long as her note is missing, any speculation beyond this is meaningless. For now, I think you should look this over. This is a suicide report, part one, anyway. Part one. Suicide note added to the court records. Alright, let's see, can we present something else? Let's see what we got. to look through reports. I like suicide reports even less. Worst of all, the report that had multiple parts like that one. That has two. Two parts. What you just handed me is the first part of the report. Here's the second part. The second part of the report is about an attempt suicide. The attempter's name is Adrian Andrews. Miss Andrews? Um, what did she do? She, she tried to kill herself. She doesn't seem like the type of person who tried to kill herself, though, you think she's strong for real woman, that's just what she wants you to think. Andrew Andrew, she has a certain secret she always trying to hide. A secret? Her dependent nature, just what she really likes it on the inside. Is Andrew dependent? Talk about the exact opposite of what that woman is. Suicide. It was a few days ago after the death of Celeste Impact. And, and why did Andrew Andrews think about committing suicide? Because of Celeste Impact. Because she had apparently lost her will to live. Lost her will? But why was she. Her pillar of strength, her mental Celeste Impact, was gone forever. That's why. Why would that? Is this what they call folly somewhere to the grave? Yeah, pretty much, Pearls. After the attempted suicide, Adrian Andrews started attending counseling sessions. She is someone who needs a person she can't trust absolutely. And once she finds that person, she'll be there that she can keep them near. Without such an anchor in her life, her purple anxiety stifles her ability to live. And that's, that's the nature of her dependency on others? Well, Celeste, when Celeste Impact suddenly committed suicide, the world before her turned pitch dark. That's of course to Andrews, Andrews herself. And that means her super confident attitude. It's all a facade. She's only copying her mental behavior to hold herself together. How terrible. Second suicide low. Wow. Mm, wow, thank you everything, man. Edgy's back. Got the edge. Can we present anything else to you? Can we present anything else to you? Mm, probably not. Let's see. While I was a boy, these deployable types of active becomes popular. I'll take it. Well, refreshing like a spring breeze is tomorrow. Refreshing. And what's so refreshing about spring breeze? Sound like the father is not treating him well this year. Alright, how about this dude? You know about this dude? 
there's an interesting rule about this man. You mean the one about Miss Andrew getting close to him? Well, that's pretty common to have affair, isn't it? I don't take days at face value when there's more to be found. Alright, alright. Um, you know what? I appreciate, appreciate everything, man. Hey, I think we got everything out of you. We're gonna move to... Then we're gonna move to the hallway. We're gonna move to. Um, okay, we're gonna move to. Okay, is it here? Oh, perfect. I thought she was here. Oh, Miss Andrew's here. But it looks like she's talking with someone. That's Francisca Von Calm. God dog, this woman is everywhere. Miss Von Calm, what are you doing here? Um, well, you see, I'm his lawyer, so you got some nerve following me around, following you. That's you, Miss Von Calm. You're the one doing the following. Pearls, you always following after that Mr. Detective with that little beard. Father F. Scuffy, don't make me laugh. Let me show you something interesting, little girl. Okay. What, what is that? The electro electromagnetic receiver. I plan to track the device on that detective. And with this, I know that fool every move. So that noise we heard was this receiver. I feel really sorry for poor Detective Buffy now. Now then, let's not waste time. Adrian Andrews. Yes? Think hard about, bro. Think hard about what we just discussed. Understood? Alright. What the, were those two talking about? Miss Andrews, she's seen a little days, doesn't she? Do you have any ideas? As to as to why Miss Corita was murdered. Why would you ask me about such a thing? I'm just doing my job, so do you have any ideas? Oh god. Oh my god, are you kidding me? Oh god, she got four of them. Miss Andrews. Sorry, but there's nothing more I have to add to this conversation. Is the psyche like Mr. Nick? Yes, they're getting to be more and more of these lately. Fine, you wanna play this game? Let's play. Oh, uh, let's see. This, this, play these type of games. Let's play. Alright, you got four locks? Alright. Mortal for murder. Alright, Miss Andrew, let's see what you got. Why was Juan Corretta murdered? If you ask me, I think you know the reason he was killed. Hmm. Why, why are you hiding things? Don't you realize you're putting this under life in danger by your actions? Why do you ask questions which I have no answer? The truth is, I was not that close to Miss Corita. You were not that close? That's right, I never been good at being intimate with another person. You're not good to be intimate with another person. Somehow, I highly doubt that. Alright, let's see. What can we find with you so there were some type of rumor about you? Let's see, the temperature is Let's see. Mm, yeah, let's go back. Let's see that. You and Miss Corita had an intimate relationship, did you not? A silly third-rate tabloid article. If you even have half your wits about it, you wouldn't believe such rubbish. Well, you see, it's quite a few people has already bought into the story. Huh. As to be expected in the world filled with crooks and liars. Note yourself, stay on her good side. In any case, I despise an interpersonal relationship like that. I see. However, what if there was a need for you to get close to someone? Me? Need to get close to Miss Corita? As if was ever such a need. Did you get close to Mr. 
Did you get close to this person? Uh, didn't you get close to Miss Korean for this person's sake? This person's sake. Uh, Take that. Celeste impacts your mentor. How did you know about Celeste? Got one. This impact, she committed suicide, didn't she? But it looks like no one knows why. Uh oh, started sweating. Right before her death, she was one career manager. So, I bet you got close to this career so you could find out more about her suicide. You, you have a great imagination. You may have a future yet a slimy month record for a future third rape tabloid. Ms. Andrews, there's no mystery surrounding her death. None. It would be pointless for me to force myself into a relationship for nothing. Is that really true? Was there really no mystery at all? I don't believe you're completely at ease with the way her suicide was resolved. Impact suicide note was never found, was it? It looks like the police was under suspicion that someone had hit it. Like maybe the person who discovered the body, Mr. Corita? Why? And Miss Andrews, I believe you thought the same thing. That is why you became intimate with Miss Corita. Got him. I sat by quietly and listened to your insulting rambling long enough. Okay. I still got two more locks to go before they won't have to take my ramble anymore. It's, it's true that Celeste was my mental habit. Allow me to say this again. It had nothing to do with me. I didn't know if there was a suicide that was ever found. I'm a person who doesn't care about what goes on in the lives of others. That's an impression all you like to give, however. I don't think that you would really are. What? I have evidence that says otherwise. This is proof that if it was... This is proof that Celeste's impasse was someone very close to you. Okay. Take that! Miss Andrews, you nearly went through this with it too, didn't you? Went through with what? End of your life? Miss Andrews, you look and act like a very strong woman who has it all together. You don't act for anyone help, relying only on yourself. Yes, I've been independent ever since I can remember. However, that is all just a lie, a facade. You always search out people on who you can depend on. Yes. You were dependent on Miss Apex, were you? Which is why, when she passed away, you lost everything you had. Stop! Got three. When Celeste passed away so suddenly like that, I died a death of my own, but no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't stop thinking what has become of her note. You must have heard about the police report. The one that said the police suspect Miss Corita of hiding Miss Impass note. You heard about it and thought to recover it from getting close, am I right? If that's the case, then everything changes. But what do you mean? What topic did we start this conversation on again? It was why I was a victim killed. Exactly. Somehow, Miss Andrews, it seems that you have become the one with the reason to want Mr. Corita's dead. Me? Miss Apex was everything to you. And then she died. And you would do anything to find out why she killed herself. Even commit murder. Murder? Got him. Broke that up. Unlocked all of that. Now, Miss Andrews, start talking. It's true. I am a woman who can't only live in insecurities. I'm physically small and I do not really have a lot of self confidence. I push against all that, though. I try to live strongly. 
I never wanted anyone to find out the truth. Miss Angels, this one thing, it's the one thing I wanted to take with me to the grave. It was my secret, mine's and mine's own. Um, I'm sorry. You probably think I'm a worthless human being right now, don't you? Please, Miss Angels, all I want to know is the truth. After Slack passed away, I heard that someone has hidden her suicide note, and that someone was one of Rita. Celeste, without her, without her, I became scared. Everything, everyone seemed like they was out to get me. So you got close to Miss Korea to recover a suicide note, correct? Looks like that tablet reported the truth after all. Ironic, isn't it? Well, like I said, where there's smoke, there's fire. And if the person add fuel to fire, they will keep the celebrity world burning. But as for the suicide note, I didn't and wouldn't kill anyone for it. It just doesn't suit me, that's all. Well, that's enough for now. Still have the work to do, so... I understand. Oh! I have one small favor to ask. My attempted suicide, I'd like you to keep it a secret. Miss Angels, if, if you find out about my weakness, I, I will sooner choose to die than live. Alright, I understand. We'll keep it a secret. Andrews, I guess she's the overthinking type. She probably never say anything without careful thinking through first. Thank you for your discretion. Mr. Nick, can I ask you something? What is it? Miss Andrews has been playing with that card in her hand since a little while back. That card? Yeah, I guess she had. Miss Andrews, what is that card you're holding? Huh? Oh, this. I don't quite know. It just suddenly appeared in my handbag. Okay. Where? Seashell? What is it? It looks like a seashell. That's what it looks like, doesn't it? I honestly don't remember owning this card. I wonder where I picked it up from. Her not remember something clearly sound like it would become a rare occurrence. Well, I must be off. I'll leave this all got in your capable hands. She has something to say. Well, I think we got about all we can. What? What about Miss Dip Meyer? Is she alright? Oh, Pearl, she looks so worn out by all this. She hasn't slept all day and I've been walking all over the place with me. What's wrong, Mr. Nick? Let's go back to the office for a little while. You're probably really tired, right? Oh, no. I'm okay. Really? I'm fine. I really am. You don't look fine to me. Alright, let's move. I think we probably did enough. Let's see. Hall, oh, go to the lobby. Go to. So, what now? Well, we did find one thing out for sure. Miss Andrew has a motive. Apex suicide note? That's right. She was also the one who killed the victim's body. Clever. What? Ah, Miss Nick, the transceiver. Hello? Right and cold law office? Mr. Attorney, you're not answering the phone. Maya, where's Maya? As I promised, I have not gone within a few feet of her this whole time. Phew. Which is why I suppose she's absolutely fetish. What? What? So I guess you win a quick acquittal, my friend. At any cost, would you agree? Wait, Maya, never here. Very well. Ask my Maya. Is that you? Sis, that's my sis. Maya, Maya, damn it, he cut me off. Mystic Maya say ask my sis, didn't she? Sis? What does she mean by that? Come on, Phoenix. Sorry. You're a hopeless one. Oh, I'm sorry. Ah. Oh, that's Mia! I have a message from my so come and ask me anything if you want. Uh, my sister. 
How's Maya? She's safe for now. That kidnap is going to keep his word, it seems. I'm glad to hear she's safe, but Maya, how did she know? As soon as she was locked up, Maya called for me. I already know she left, you know, gathered as much information about her surroundings as I could. I didn't know you could use spirit Charlie like that. Pretty smart of her. Who's the kidnapper? The kidnapper? What's his life? I don't know. Apparently, Maya went to answer a phone at the hotel and was drugged there. And? She didn't see the face of an attacker. Ah, oh, boy. Maya is locked up in a very dark place right now. I'll tell you everything I heard when I was with her. Were you with her? With her? Okay, date, time, location. We don't know where we are, what time it is, or what date it is. Ugh, I'm starving. I could really go for some apple pie. I mean, at a time like this, sweets are the only way to go. I have to stay positive. He promised he wasn't going to kill me. I'm not going to die. Sis, I wonder if you nigga all right. Huh? Someone dropped a card here. It's kind of look like a business card, but there's no name on it. Seashell again. Hmm, it's a picture of a seashell, I think. What a strange card. There's all sorts of things piled up here, but it's too dark to see. Why, so? What's this? It feels like there's a lot of glass balls here. And these, they feel like battles. I'll pass. Too bad I'm really hungry. I'm not really thirsty. It's locked. Hmm. This door lock says it's not open. On TV, the hero always use a plastic cord or a stiff piece of cardboard. They click, they magically open the door. I wonder if there's a coin like that around here can use. Ah, that's it. This is the shell card. If I use this, maybe I can get out the door open. This might be my key out of here. I had a feeling this card might be useful. I'm such a genius. Alright, now if you excuse me, Mr. Kidnapper. Oh, she got out. I did it! Okay, now get the heck out of here! I should keep Nick waiting. Don't worry. To be continued. Oh, wow, okay, this is the end of this case. Wow, this case is getting real interesting up to this point. Alright, so Maya looks like she found a way out. And Miss Andrews got a confession. Come now, see how she ready to feel. And we have some new characters like Miss Apex who commits suicide. Miss Corita, he died. And we still don't know where the suicide note is. That could be the key if we can find it. I thank everybody watching the gameplay of Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney Justice for All. Thank you everybody for watching. I am out.